Week two of demolition begins today. Week one was incredibly successful. We got a ton pulled out of the bus so that we can keep moving forward with this project. So today is lining up to be a very productive day. I've got some friends coming out later this afternoon to help remove the wiring harness and then pull some of those reflectors and stickers off the outside of the bus. But before they come out, I'm actually gonna try to remove the adhesive from the floor of the bus. So remember last week we pulled up that rubber flooring and it left behind adhesive. And so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna spray down the floor and then I'm gonna take a wire brush on an angle grinder and I'm going to remove the adhesive from the floor. Now I've already prepared for this a little bit. I came out last night and removed the driver's seat and the trim panels surrounding the driver's seat. That meant I had to pull out a little bit of electric just to make sure that I had access to finish this project today. And then I also pulled the rubber matting off of those wheel wells. So everything should be prepped and ready to go to keep this project moving forward. So that's it, all of the rubber adhesive is off of the floor. It looks shiny, it looks clean, and that is great because that means we are one step closer to sealing the whole thing. Of course, I have to wait for it to dry. So the good news is I finished about two hours before everyone else is going to show up. So that means I can put a couple fans on this floor, I can let it dry out, and it'll be ready to work once they get here. everyone has gone home for the day and it turned out to be a very productive day we started off by removing the rear ceiling panel from the interior of the bus we mainly did that so we would have access to the rear lights so we had to get those disconnected from the wiring harness from there we just continued to pull the wiring harness out of the bus it was mounted in a little notch on the left side it was really only held in by zip ties so we cut those zip ties and we slowly pulled it out of the bus as we pulled it out we made sure that we labeled everything appropriately so that it will be a really, really easy reinstall. We don't want to create issues down the road. And then once we got it all coiled up, we put it into a contractor bag in the front of the bus and laid it on top of the driver's seat. And that is where it's sitting now, and that's where it's going to be sitting until we reinstall it. And the main reason that we had to do that with the wiring harness is because we are going to do a roof raise, and we're going to push that roof up about a foot and a half to two feet and so we didn't have enough slack in that wiring harness to actually reach that height so it had to be disconnected so on top of that we continued to pull screws off of the outside of the bus some of that was with the drill some of that was with the angle grinder and of course they killed it when it came to the reflectors and stickers that were left on the bus pretty much got all of those off of the bus so that is one less thing that i have to worry about down the road so super helpful it's been a great day it's been very productive we just keep marking things off of the list.
So I spent the last couple days making sure that the floor was prepped and ready to be sealed. I removed everything that was remaining in the driver's area. There was some carpet, a couple of small metal pieces. We moved the wiring from the engine harness out of the way. I also addressed the rust issues that were present. So over in some of the corners, there were some spots where it looked like some water had sat on the floor. It was mainly surface rust, so it wasn't too big of a deal, but it still needed to be addressed. So I took a wire brush that was on an angle grinder over all of those rust spots, and then took a vacuum over it and cleaned it up, and then sealed it with a clear sealant. The last thing I did was take the angle grinder to some rivets that were left in the floor from that center runner. So not only did it have adhesive, but it had rivets too. So we removed those from the floor. So now the floor is clear and clean and ready to be sealed. I bought some Rust-Oleum paint and sealer to seal this floor and make sure I don't have any rust issues moving forward. So I'm gonna take a brush, I'm gonna go around the edges, make sure I get into all those corners, and then I'm gonna come back with the roller and cover this whole floor. Shouldn't take too long, should be a pretty easy part of the project, but I'm gonna get to it. The floor is sealed and ready to go. It looks great in here, and that means that this part of the project is complete. So I will be moving on to preparation for the roof raise. That means I'm gonna be pulling panels off the inside of the bus and pulling the windows out, all in an effort to cut into this bus so we can raise this roof. So if you enjoy this video, you enjoy what we're doing here, make sure you like this video or leave a comment below. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the little bell to make sure you get notifications as we post videos moving forward. Thank you for watching.